Hello everyone, welcome back. In this lesson, we will talk about the with and with statement. The with and with statement is used to simplify code as it allows you to execute multiple statements that refer to a single object. To better understand this, let's add a new module which we will call with and with. So let's go to the insert menu in the toolbar, click on module, then resize the module inside the code window. After this, we're going to go to the properties window and we're going to remove the name, the default name added by VVA. We're going to add our own, our customized name. So we're going to say with and with and then just click anywhere inside the module. Following this, we will add a new sub procedure that will have the same name of the module. So it's going to be with and with and then just hit enter. What we're going to do in our first example is make some changes to the headers of the table shown in the data types worksheet. So first we're going to add a comment here, make changes to headers. And then here we're going to say with range, we're going to say A1 because we want this to be dynamic. And then here, range A1 again, dot end. Between parentheses, we're going to say Excel to write. And now we're going to say only end with. Inside the with and with statement, we are going to start making the changes. So first, we are going to change the background color of the headers of this table using the interior property. So let's say interior.color, this is equal to RGB. Here we're going to say 05979. After this, we want to make some changes to the font of the header. So let's say font.color, this is going to be equal to VV white. Then we are going to change the font name. This is going to be equal to Arial. Let's change the font size now. So here, let's say size. This is going to be equal to 15. Let's make the font bold. This is equal to true. Now we want to make the font italic. So let's say true here. And finally, we want to add some underline. So this is going to be equal to underline style double. This is the option that we're going to use in this case. After this, we are going to outfit the contents. So let's say here, outfit contents. Let's correct it. Contents. And so we are going to type in cells entire column dot out of it. Finally, in our second example, we are going to customize the borders of this table and we are going to use the with and with statement to do that. So here we're going to say customize borders. So let's go ahead and type in with range. We're going to say a one comma range. Let me correct it here. So range A1. And here we're going to say end and between parentheses Excel to write. After this, because we want to affect the whole table dynamically, we are going to say end Excel down dot borders and with. So inside the with and with statement, again, we're going to start writing the code to make the changes. So let's say line style, this is going to be equal to Excel continues. Then we want to change the weight of the border. So we're going to say Excel medium. 
after this we're gonna change the color so we're gonna say RGB 127 127 127 which is gray once we do this we just need to debug the code to see the code in action so let's start doing it by pressing F8 on the keyboard so first we're gonna change the background color of the headers only now here we're gonna change the font of the headers remember now we're gonna change the font name right now is Sitka banner and the font size is 13 so after we execute this code line the font name is gonna change to Arial now we're gonna change the font size here which uh, we just did to 15 we want this to be bold, we want this to be italic, and finally, we want to add double underline. Once we do this, because this is not readable, we are going to out of it the content so that we can read the data. Let's go ahead and do it. In our second example, we are going to customize the borders of this table. Remember, this is dynamic. So it really doesn't matter if you only have two rows and three columns, you can have 20 rows, a thousand rows, um, 200 columns. It doesn't matter because if you do it like this, it's going to affect the entire region. It's going to affect everything. So let's go ahead and do it. Here we're going to make sure that we're going to get continuous lines. We're going to change the weight to medium. And now we're gonna change the color of the borders to gray. So let's go ahead and see what we get. Exactly, we just made the changes and everything is working properly. To finalize this lesson, remember, the with and with statement is something that you want to use whenever you're going to apply multiple statements or multiple code lines to a single object. So. This is going to make it easier for you to read and easy for you to write and easy for anybody to read the code as well. In our next lesson, we will learn about the set statement in VVA. See you next time.